Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during two episodes 11 and 12 of To Your Other Shelves. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. You don't really have to do this, you know. Something with the rain, or just everything that's happening. See, in a way, we already know that, like, when this series ends, like, 100%, and this is just my opinion, so don't tell me if this is true until we get to the end of the series, Kainasu is going to die no matter what. Since his pipeline is gone, he eventually is going to die. Same thing with, um, Atari and, um, what's your face? They're all going to die here because the fact is that pipeline is gone. That's your only source of I want to say livelihood in a way. I mean, because that's the only way that they can go home because they're so used to the air from the future that coming into the past, it's different. The air here is more purified and safe than um, the one in the future because when they go outside, it's just like the Pope's apocalyptic. You know, you cannot breathe out there. You can't even live out there to the point where, yes, they have to live underground. But, I mean, even though they're in the past, like, I don't know. So many other questions. But I, I feel like, yeah, he's not going to make it. He, he might die in the very last episode. And um, Haruka will never forget him. That's the thing. Maybe. That's when you was finally going to realize, like, oh, okay, this is what he meant for me to do. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm talking out of my butt right now. So it could literally be anything.
like a one in three chance. Mm -hmm. And so the odds of rolling that one are several chances, like 50 50 sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, because see, the biggest thing that makes me wonder, like for those two, and then the rest of this cast, like slowly but surely, they're all gonna possibly maybe meet, you know, their other personalities from all these different dimensions, possibly. I'm not 100%. I mean, it's, it's kind of so when you met, it's possibility that anyone could meet their other self. Except Hanukkah. I feel like Hanukkah is a good thing for future self. Because this ish just reminds me of ish that, like, my friends were thinking of any time in science class or in school. Many do. I don't know. And that's what could possibly happen. Well, probably could. It might happen because of Hanukkah.
not to the point where you might want to be like a professional athlete. Not always true. Not everyone is immediately good at a sport or art or even music. It's about practicing, but I get you. But it's what you think is best. Okay. <laughs> you can do, you know. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> oh, he's <using> me. <laughs> I mean, I have to say this, like, you is very mature for his age at times, and I get what he's saying. I really do. But, I mean, for somebody who was, like, they're in middle school. No, they're about to go into middle school. They're, like, mm, 11, 12 years old, maybe. Um, like I said, he's wise for his age. And some, what the things that he was saying to his friend, his friend may not get. Not everyone thinks in a very mature rational mind at that young age. Some people some kids do and some people and some kids don't. Oh, drinking beer like the first time you wake a girl? Mm -mm. Is she trying to summon what she summoned last week again? I really thought she was going to actually make something. <laughs> I mean, but how to, how to cook? Can't you cook? I mean, yeah, you were a young girl, but... Mm. Right, but because of Hadika's destiny, it makes her think this way. I'm not going to say depressed, but he has something on his mind. And the thing is, and I get it too, but you still can't be mad about him wanting to take that. Yeah, he's finally free, able to do what he wants to do, but I mean, I get the fact that you'll be lonely and you know, you're upset.
Say it louder for the people in back. <laughs> Oh. Did they ever tell how their parents died? I don't think they did. I mean, this is like the first real episode where we kind of focus on Isami. Why is that? Okay, then why don't we go to this doctor and talk to him? Could be coming ne in the next episode, possibly. Because we're better. You have to kind of see him before the show ends. And I hate the fact that, you know, the Patriot Army is talking like this is when they get. He don't really give a crap if he kills his best friend. Him from the future. Of course, he's coming. Come here. Come here. Oh, charging wire.
And you can't be mad about that, no matter what. Yeah, you have the right to, but it's his decision. Whether, if he decided to stay instead of going, you would have been okay with it. it is. I didn't like the way that went. Because it feels like the next time that they meet, one of them is going to die. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But it's just the way that it went down and comparing it to TV shows I've seen, video games I've played, books that I've read where they've done something like that. It seems like the next time that they meet, whether it's the next episode or the next book, the final book, the final movie, whatever, um, usually in the end, somebody ends up dying. And it could be the hero or it could be, I'm not going to say Isami's future self is a villain in a way because he's doing what he's what he thinks is right. Everyone this show this show in a nutshell is about what you think is right. No one's really a hero or a villain because as of right now we haven't really seen well no, what's his face? Dude with the moon hair. He's like the villain of the show. But everybody else is like we're trying to define what is a hero, what is a villain, what is the right thing to do and what is the wrong thing to do because everybody is truly following their heart and what they think is right. The only one who has to make the ultimate decision at the end of the day is Haruka. It's either becoming the dragon torque and making sure that, you know, her universe is safe and protected. Or, in another dimension, in a world where it's not safe anymore. And the fact that they have to go underground. Because once she went into the future and saw what it was like, ever since that episode, she's been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about what should I really do? What is the right thing that I need to do? Not only as a person, as human being, but as this piece of a puzzle. What is my destiny? But yeah, like I said, I'm like... As of right now, I'm 100% certain that when we get to the final few episodes of this show, leading to, I think it's 24 episodes, I believe, um, Kadasu is going to die. And let's just say the show ends, don't even tell me how it's going to end anyway until we get there. Um, let's just say the show ends, he dies, and he's talking to his younger self about what he needs, everything that he needs to do, and how you finally understand, okay, this is what you meant about protecting Haruka. I feel like there's going to be a moment where, I don't know, because, like, the more and more I watch, it's, it's still going into, like, science gate territory with, like, time travel and then different dimensions and ultimate realities and stuff, because in this reality, someone's like this, and in another reality, someone's like that, and going into another reality where... Haruka is, she's the dragon torch. She's dead, necessarily, in a way. You're sitting here and you're wondering um, what is right and what is wrong and what is the most important thing to do. Like I said, this is her destiny. And I feel like there's certain paths. There, there, she, she's, okay, let me, let me do it like this. She's in the middle right now. She's walking her own line. But until, you know, since birds and everything else that came in and saying, okay, this is what you have to do. And so she's on like a three-way path. She's in the middle, which is still her path. One path is a way for her to become the dragon torch. Another path is for her to not. And then the path is 
or her middle path is just her saying the same way no matter what. And at the end of the day, she has to pick what she thinks is right. She's going to go ahead and listen to like different sides of the story, whether it be Katasu, you himself, Isami and the rest of her friends, plus her friends as themselves, but in the older future selves. She's listening to everybody, but at the end of the day, she's the one who has to make that decision. Whether it's a right decision or a wrong decision depends on her and what happens next. I mean, she's the one who's going to be able to save everyone. This is like um, how, I, okay, I'm not going to go too, too into spoiler details into the show. I mean, the show has been, the show ended like, oh. I want to say about two, three years ago. Okay, so like once upon a time. See, this is big, big spoilers to season one. So if you don't want to listen to this, just go on to the next video. Um, and ish, don't worry about it. Just skip ahead past this. Okay, so um, Emma Swan, who is the daughter of Snow White and Prince Charming, she is the savior. At the end of the day, she's supposed to save um, all of Storybrooke and everything the fairy tale world is in, it's just in that in the third and her actions are going to um lead into future show and uh, future seasons which was like i think six or seven seasons i mean we don't really count the last season because of reasons but there were times in the show where she was hesitant just like haraka and finding out okay this is my destiny to be the savior and to um bring the storybook characters back into, uh, back into this town and to have a normal life and still worrying about the dangers of being, the ins and outs of being a savior, the right and wrong things of being a savior. And eventually by like the final two, three episodes, she finally, you know, accepted her destiny because looking at her from episode one to whatever of the very first season, she was hesitant. She was no, she was even, even telling her own son, like, I, I don't know what you're talking about this isn't real, like, kid, you're just talking out of your head, you're making all this stuff up, but when she realized and went to the town with her son and realizing that, oh, this is real, like, I'm learning more about my past and yada, 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 eventually in those last three episodes, um, I would have to go back and, like, look at some things to see if it is the last three episodes, it's either the last three or the last two, she realizes this is what she needs to do, she needs to fight a dragon to, you know, save storybooks so that their memories can be restored because at that time they were just normal people and they didn't know that they were fairy tale characters until um their memories eventually came back to them but then things that happened when in season two and yada 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 but that's what it is currently right now Haruka. she's trying to she she's still a little maybe hesitant to herself i would say maybe the first couple episodes she was like that but once she went into the future and saw everything, she's now thinking about it a lot more. And hence with the conversation that she had with her mom about, oh, I'm just thinking about what my life would be 15 years from now. And her mom's looking at her like, well, 15 years from now, like you would think as, as an adult and as a parent looking at your kid like that, like, you know, there really is no reason for you to be thinking about that because you're still just a kid. But because the fact is her mom doesn't really know anything. And it's really mainly because Haruka can't talk to her mom about that ish. And I get that at the end of the day because there are some things, especially like this and maybe some other stuff, that she cannot talk to her mom about because you never know what could happen if she ends up saying, sitting down with her mom one day and saying, hey, remember that day when we had uh, lunch and we were talking about what my life would be like 15 years from now? Well, here's the reason why. And I feel like that would open up a big can of worms and then that would screw up something. It's not only um, like a butterfly effect thing and then alternate uh, dimensions. It's a whole bunch of stuff in this show in a nutshell. And so you're sitting here wondering and like thinking at the same time while you're watching it and you're like, okay, what is she going to do? How is she going to do something? And then what about everybody else? Like the two who are going to look for her dad, like eventually because we're getting ready to go on episode 12 and I'm just like, I really need her like to have a conversation with her dad and to see what her dad possibly thinks about this. Because as what's your face said, he comes every three months. So it has to be almost the three month mark where he is coming. I don't know, but I ain't gonna know until episode 12. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 and 3, 2, 1, go.
Um, okay. I was about to say. Sorry. Okay, so let me talk about that beginning real quick. It, in a way, even though it's a dream, it seems like a premonition because, like I said, it, it, it seems like these two are going to fight in this episode. I feel like that with 120%. But, um, I don't think it's going to go out that way. I, I don't think he's literally going to cut his arm off and then Haruka's gonna come up and be like, yeah, no, 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 your friends, da, 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 da. and then he just leaves like that. Like, come on now. I mean, you have this fast episode where they do eventually have a moment to talk. Their future, their current selves and their future selves were talking. And that was a very interesting thing. But to see these two fight in this episode, if it's gonna happen, which it seems like it is from the preview, um, I don't want this. <laughs> I really don't because one of them, Sami, might regret this. Like, if he truly kills him off, which I don't think it's going to happen, if he even cuts off his arm, like in the dream, he's going to regret it. It may not be in this episode, but maybe two or three episodes from now. You never know. By episode 14, he might be like, oh, crap, what the hell did I just do? I don't know. Like, hmm. Like I said, talking out of my butt right now. Just. Taking suggestions, things that are in my mind. <laughs> okay. And it's just so weird to see these two, like the younger selves, interact when the future selves are about to duke it out. I get that, but not in this situation. Mm. 
So he might he be here on 13 and 14. Okay. To be with you. That, but also to be with you. Either Italy, Spain, or England, yeah. Maybe even India or Africa. Oh my god. Well, she had a dream about him. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a prick. Don't be like you. Be sweet and kind and gentle. Only get pissed when you need to. You don't have to do this. Don't be stupid. She's got to be close, though. So She's far away from them.
your dad's place. Also, only you can also stop it. <laughs> yeah, you want to stop it before something really bad happens, aka what's his face done. You don't want that. That's enough of my taste. I mean, you need to like, run like you stole something. Wait, come on now. Are you serious? We know you're close. Come on, oh my god, you stop being in your depressed, like, pissed off state. So basically, you're just curious as well. That's fine. <laughs> See, we need to talk about that. What all did she suffer? 
There's so many. <laughs> oh my god. That's why I still want one. Just give me one episode where we see the Haruka who made her decision. Her POV in one episode. That'll be fine. Of course, because he's him. Of course, he has something to do. You're him. He's making the same decisions. Oh God. <sighs> Has to be the part where he gets his arm gone. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Last person is there. What is this verse, right? Of course. That's not good, right? That's bad. Literally in the move that his brother did so in the previous episode. I was about to say, because he ain't die. <laughs>
family. But Um... I didn't think that was gonna happen. I didn't think that was gonna happen. No. No, that's so messed up. On. Yeah, what is this? I girl, no lesser. Push yourself inside crying. Oh, my God. You gotta be, f oh my god, are you serious? He's not the only day, he disintegrated, like, oh my god, I was thinking that we were gonna be okay, that this episode was gonna end on a happy note. The fact is, yes, they just both duked it out, but then he was like, no, 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 it's okay, you know what, I'm gonna help you. I'm like, oh my god, like, yeah, and then the fucking Noine had to come in out of his, you know, mm -hmm, off his little high horse and just do something like mm, okay fine yeah one of my disciples ain't gonna do it fine i'm gonna do it myself like mm. this man came in like freaking thanos like that guy he is and just ended him right there and in there oh my god i was thinking like freaking if i me and i would have had a happy the future selves would have had a happy ending but are you serious episode 12 what is this i can't are you freaking kidding me And then cut a suit. Oh my god, I can't. I really can't right now. I don't even know what else to say about this episode. It was good though, until that last few minutes and the fact that Noane was telling Hanukkah that no matter what, nothing changes. Everything does that to be sure. I'm like, are you kidding me? Huh. Oh my god, I can't. And of course, the girl who was hanging out with Ethan in his future self. In the last episode, she's going to be pissed and needed, and she's going to want revenge because she's going to assume that um, Kadasu killed him. But it's just like, I, I mean, because of the fact that she wasn't there, yeah, she has the right to assume and think, yeah, you killed someone who I really cared about. So you know what? I'm going to get revenge, and I'm just going to go ahead and kill you, and I'm going to take the dragon torch. I don't know how in the world these next two episodes are going to go, but honestly, I'm really excited for it. Because this, I mean... Oh, this is just getting nuts. Like, every episode, I feel like, to me, in my opinion, the second episode of the two episodes that I always watch always ends a little bit better than the first one. And you're just like, it leaves you 
with wanting more and because of the fact is like I, I mean we're on we're like as of right now we're halfway done with this i got 12 more episodes to go through but it, it really honestly it goes by really freaking quickly like one minute i'm on episode one then i'm on episode 12 and then i'm on the last two episodes of the dang series i mean mm, i don't know god it's just ugh I don't even want to acknowledge to the fact that, you know, he's, he's, future Izumi is dead. I hate even saying that. Like, honestly, it sucks because I was thinking him as a character, I was, I was like, okay, you might be fine. You might make it to like the end of the series. But I was like, Katasu, I feel like Katasu is going to die protecting Haruka. And the fact is that he was like, yeah, I'm going to help you. And then just... <laughs> He dies the same like he disintegrates the same way in the dream that Haruka had and I'm thinking well yeah 50 out of 50 because I've seen shows that have done that in the past where it's like okay here's something that we've shown at the beginning of a movie tv show whatever 50 out of 50 you never know if that same thing is gonna happen I was assuming that um the other part that she was thinking about where okay um, Izumi, future Izumi, he's laying there, possibly dead, and then Kadesu was just, like, you know, crying over it. That's what I was thinking that was gonna happen. Not him being disintegrated in ish, but, I mean, every single week, this show just freaking surprises me more and more, and honestly, I cannot wait to see what in the world is gonna happen next in 13 and 14. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to you towards episode 11 and 12 of knowing to your other self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Very much fun. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 13 and 14. Bye, guys.